In today's video, I'm gonna do one simple thing. I'm gonna pretty much guarantee that this little bag of T-pegs is gonna seriously improve the quality of your strike, both with irons, hybrids, and fairway wood. And I'm that confident that this simple, very simple drill will be that effective that I guarantee that this will help you improve your quality of strike. I guarantee it because you can't go wrong. Just a few days ago, I played golf with my nephew who, uh, 14 year old, striking the ball reasonably well at the time. And then all of a sudden his game went a little bit pear shaped. And he was a little bit concerned about his quality of strike on his irons in particular. He was topping them. Shoved the tees to one side for a minute. And essentially what topping means is that you're hitting the ball or your low point is very much behind the ball and often you're coming up. It can be a number of reasons as to why you're doing it, but effectively that's what the club's doing. Your low point is behind the ball in the case of the irons. Now I tried to explain low point to him. It got very complicated and I said, I'll tell you what, I remember a drill from a couple of years ago that I watched on YouTube and I can't remember where it was from. So there's no link to any other video uh, for an interpretation, but it's so simple. I'm pretty sure I can handle this one and what I got him to do was simply put a uh, ball in the ground on a tee and then we put another tee just an inch or so in front of that ball and what I asked him to do was try and hit the tee peg out of the ground that is placed on the line further forward of his ball hope that makes sense he thought that was a very simple and easy thing to do and on his first attempt he fell miserably he hit the ball a little bit better, but it was still off the bottom grooves, but he couldn't hit that tee peg off the ground or out the ground. So I asked him to try again, same thing, concentrate on, forget the ball, concentrate on hitting the tee peg. And he managed to do it, his ball flight changed considerably, and he was pretty shocked and blown away by the impact it had. His game improved significantly after that. So, how does it work? Well, I'll get the tee peg back, or have I got one in my pocket, and I'm gonna do exactly the same for me to demonstrate whilst the camera's on. So I'll put that tee peg in the ground. Ball is already teed up and I've got a nine iron that we're probably gonna, well, we are gonna fly over the top of this green. We haven't got enough uh, area to work with, but this works with both irons, wedges, hybrids and fairway woods. But let's start off with a simple iron drill and let's see if we can demonstrate whilst the camera's on. Any YouTube tuition that I've ever seen is, can be really effective, but what can be a bit destructive is if you take many of those swing thoughts onto the golf course and they can have a ne negative effect. What I'm saying with this drill, it's very much the only thought that you need in your head when you go on the golf course. So, what I'm saying is forget about what's going on in the backswing and in the follow through. All you're gonna do is get to your ball and you've got one visualization and that's look at that tee peg. And my thing is I've got to hit it out the ground. I've got to shift it forward. That's, that's my thing. Forget the ball. And it goes like this, right. Now what you'll see is first of all, a really crisply struck nine iron. We've got two things that have moved from the ground. In fact, We've got two tee pegs. I'll get a bit of a close up on this shortly. And what you'll see is that I've created a ball, then ground, divot if you like, impact. And that's hugely important when you're striking irons. And what I've managed to do is I've managed to shift my low point to after the ball. Talked about this on many occasions, but it doesn't always click. And it didn't click with my 14 year old nephew, the description I was trying to give him. So this simple visualization work to treat and I'm sure it'll work for you as well. Now, as I said, this can be done with a hybrid. I've just hit off the back tee there with a hybrid in hand, exactly the same, a descending blow, making sure that my low point is shifted to after the ball. You'll see a significant change in the way that you strike the ball. Now, obviously we can't take this onto the, uh, onto the golf course itself in terms of competition. So what all you're looking to do is use this as a very much a simple visualization aid. So the TPEG won't be there when you're out on the golf course in the competition, but you can certainly visualize that spot just ahead of the ball. And all you're looking to do is try and do exactly the same thing. Move your 
club head, your hands, shift your weight, everything will automatically make an effort to get ahead of the ball because you're trying to hit that tee peg and you're not trying to hit that ball. Now I said this works with wedges and I moved a little bit further forward earlier on and just a sort of 30, 40 yard wedge shot. I played it ball is on the ground but I've just put that tee peg in to help me get this kind of uh, little bit of a drill going and I just played a very short wedge shot exactly the same and make sure I get a real crisp impact on the wedge I've then got divot after the ball tee peg has moved so all of a sudden I don't need trackman to tell me what my low point is I can tell by the results of what I achieve out on the fairway so it's great that you've got some kind of uh, meter if you like to uh, tell you what it is happening and what you see on the ground is massive if you start to chunk and, and create divots behind the ball you've got a bit of a problem and again that's where you're either going to chunk it or quite often like I said if you're leading with the uh, leading with the club head hands behind the ball very much hitting on the up that's where you get that top in motion what this will do is encourage you to start to sort of shift weight into the ball at impact and trust me it is so simple so effective but like i said on the intro i guarantee this will improve the quality of your strike and i'm going to leave it there we're going to keep it as you like them i think simple and straightforward if you're new to the channel I will briefly explain, I'm clearly not a PGA professional, I interpret other people's uh, golf tuition videos on YouTube and I feed them back to you as an audience and I try and improve my game and hopefully improve yours along the way. And if you like what you see, I'd really appreciate a subscription hit that uh, notifications bell and any feedback you want to give post it in that comment section below and I'll do my very best to get back to you and reply. For this one, Get out there on the fairway, just two tee pegs, it's all you need, and uh, I guarantee the quality of your strike will improve massively. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.